Well, the sacrifice of war. Families of Hawaii-based troops give up precious time with loved ones, while some giving the ultimate sacrifice. All of their sacrifices are remembered at homecoming ceremonies at Marine Corps Base Hawaii. That's where KITV Force Paul Drews is standing by live. Live and Paul, how many troops are returning? There are more than 1,000 sailors and Marines coming home to Hawaii. You can see some of the welcoming banners behind me here at Marine Corps Base Hawaii. But along with all the celebrations, there will also be some sadness for the Marines that won't be coming home. Home for the holidays. These Marines and sailors end a seven-month deployment in time to spend this important time with their families. The thing they miss most about serving in Afghanistan. These three, obviously. Put it simple, the sea story. We've had three deployments in four years, so we haven't been around a whole lot in the last several years either. So, um, been home, I think, two months total this year. So, uh, it's, it's just missing family. These Marines spent their time in Afghanistan destroying the hold of the Taliban while building up goodwill. The uh, school year started while we were over there, so we worked with starting up the school as well as the weed season kicked off while we were there. So, we distributed weed seed and fertilizer to begin their agriculture and their uh, education process. But their mission was at times dangerous, and not all of these Marines returned in one piece. And I went uh, to the Wounded Warrior tent there, and I mean, while our battalion, we didn't have that many casualties or anything, but 2-6 and a lot of the other battalions that were with us there, they got, got pretty messed up, so it's humbling to see that. And during this deployment, several in this battalion were killed during Operation Enduring Freedom. So for many, now that they're back, they hold loved ones extra close. And come Christmas time, they'll not only celebrate with their family, they'll remember the sacrifices of their military family as well. It's all of our brothers, so we definitely gotta think about them. Not gonna forget about them. And another company will be coming home in about a half an hour. And then the Marines and sailors will have the holidays off with their families before it's back to work. More training as the new year begins. And by the end of 2011, they'll be back in Afghanistan on another deployment. Reporting live from Marine Corps Base Hawaii, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.